A very warm welcome to the new den, the home of Millwall Football Club. It's an all-London affair in this season's FA Sunday Cup. Highgate Albion from the Barnet Sunday Football League taking on Betis, who ply their trade in the Essex Sunday Corinthian League, the team from East London. Two sets of players are out. Highgate, big game for them in their change strip today of all whites against a Betis side who had to negotiate two more rounds than Highgate Albion to make it through to the final. Betis with Mohamed Atoyu in goal, a back four of Usman Adenji, Tommy Hessian, Harry Gibbs and Domingos Perez. Alex Krukshank is the holding midfielder. Immediately in front of him is captain Adienka Cole, Kevin Kranz, Malaki Napa and Samuel Jeremiah and up front Shamari Barnwell. On the bench, Shamandin, Art Maladzi, Mustafa Kehi, Alex Teniola, Steve Krill and Chaka Barnett. For Highgate Albion, they line up with Alejandro Gavriloia and goal. A back four of Robert Magwood, Ian Maitland the captain, Aaron Scott and Kyle Brindle. Hassan Sheikh and Pele Riley in midfield along with Billy Hayes, Solomon Afori, Tage Kennedy and Jordan Edwards. Substitutes Jaden Clark, Luke Ward, Excellence Mahemba, Akrim Mohamed, Adam Tripp and Richard Ennan. Today's referee is Lee Swaby, assisted by Greg Reed and Daniel Flynn, the fourth official, Sonny Gill. There's Billy Hayes that gets Highgate Albion off and running in this final so okay Albion side have not been helped by injury Jake Cass out with a knee injury Luke Alfano is also sidelined key players missing from the showpiece final it's Betis in the blue looking to make progress with Perez so it goes Cole, the captain. To the right hand side of Denji. That's a good through ball. Just like to get forward the fullback, Dominguez Perez. Required a save from Gavrilowi. Maitland over towards that left hand side. Another chance to test a Denji in the fullback position. Held up well by Edwards. Brings in Kennedy. Enough defenders back there to deal with the situation. Jeremiah. And away by Hessian. Moves forward. Close marking from Harry. Uh, from uh, Aaron Scott. Wanting a free kick and getting the free kick. Carl Brindle brought down. And it's Brindle. Watches it up towards the edge of the penalty area. It's well one well by Gibbs. We've got a second challenge in as well. Breakaway opportunity. Eddie Yinka Cole. This is Jeremiah. Pulls it back. It's a tap in for Barnwell. And Shamari Barnwell gives Batiste the lead after just three minutes. The East London side strike first. Shamari Barnwell. Adiyinka Cole, the captain, driving forward, holding off the challenge as well. And it's a simple tap in after the pullback from Samuel Jeremiah. Not the start that Highgate Albion would have wanted. Immediately up towards the willing runner that is Jordan Edwards, but it will run on behind him. It's brought away by Gibbs. Perez. Caught a little bit there, did Edwards, and the referee says free kick. Perez. Chased by Jordan Edwards. 
Messian back to the goalkeeper. And to Yui. Again, it's away. It's forceful. Needed a little bit of a bite in there. And Maitland leading the line. chance to cross from Perez in towards the edge of the penalty area it's a neat time from Barnwell wide towards Jeremiah Jeremiah with the cross which is cleared by Hassan Sheikh but not very far Jeremiah again it's won a corner it comes that corner underneath the crossbar and off white shirts there to deal with it He's looking for a second at the moment. This is a strong run forward from Adi uh, from Adi Inca Cole. Good defending this time from Ige Albion. And for it. Head to touch. Able to string those passes together at the moment, Ige Albion. Maitland, the captain, the veteran. Before it, wide to Edwards. His first touch wasn't brilliant, and Perez was able to snap in. Long throw from Magwood to the edge of the penalty area, driven towards goal and just wide. Close, but not quite enough for the equaliser. The long throw caused problems for Magwood. Driven towards goal and turned inches wide. Oh, it's good pressing. It's a four eight. The shot is blocked. He wants it back again. Always busy. Solomon a four eight. Cross comes in. Right away. And it's a foul. It's been given against Afori. This is where Afori caused the problems. The shot in. It was good defending in the end from Harry Gibbs. Cole. Perez to Gibbs. Cole again. Stretching the play out towards the right hand side. Denji, that's a good ball and towards the penalty area Jeremiah again it was very nearly the same route as the one taken for the first goal but Barnwell couldn't connect properly Napa 2-1-1 on one. and it's successfully dealt with by Highgate Albion but definitely on top at the moment Beatties and leading the Essex Sunday Corinthian League side by one goal to nil but a long ball over the top the flag is up against Jordan Edwards <laughs> to the feet of Kennedy strong challenge from Edwards but it's Betis that have the ball Adenji, Hessian, now Harry Gibbs, it is the YouTube team with uh, subscribers amounting to just under 70,000. Jeremiah trying to get the better of Brindle, gets the cross in away but now another chance just over the top it's a good strike a clean connection and into the midfield knocked on by Billy Hayes teasing step over from Kennedy good defending once again from Harry Gibbs and look at that for a ball it's come a long way out, Gavrilo here. And then the chip towards goal, drops just wide. 
close to his second and Baitiz is second from Chimari Barnwell. Luke Ward is on for the injured Gavriloa. Ian Maitland square to his defensive partner Aaron Scott. Carl Brindle. All the injuries. And now the goalkeeper as well. That back four does seem to be pretty frequent. Pretty solid. It needs to stay solid. Solomon Afori. That's good wing play. Causing one or two problems in the defence. Eventually Tommy Hessian clears. They're growing into the game now, Highgate Albion. In search of that equaliser. Harry Gibbs. That's an excellent challenge from Jordan Edwards. And flicks it forward. This is a four it. Denied by the goalkeeper who came out and claimed it bravely. This was an excellent challenge, wasn't it, from Jordan Edwards. And then he releases Solomon Afori, whose pace takes him beyond the defender. Goalkeeper needed to do something. Took a knock for his efforts. Edwards. No flag. It's a good little cut inside. And the shot. Shots of handball, a forward. Nothing given. Referee surrounded by Highgate Albion players who were adamant. Cuts inside. This is the moment. Shot is blocked away. And there's definitely a hand of Harry Gibbs somewhere in there touching the ball. But in the eyes of the referee, not enough to give Highgate Albion a penalty. And that's a big shout in a big game on a big stage. The decision favours Betis. Magwood. Billy Hayes driving up towards the edge of the penalty area. He's got support from Shake, and then the shot from Brindle. He's leaning back, and it was always going over. And Hayes did well. Shake with the ball out wide, rising over the bar from Carl Brindle. That's excellent play again from Cole in the midfield. Scott marshalling the defence well shake into the channel sweeper keeper Natoyo out quickly to deny Solomon Afori Denji it's another dangerous ball forward well the goalkeeper's come out and he's caught Jeremiah it's a yellow card for Luke Ward in comes a free kick dangerous Cole has been cancelled well by Pelly Riley and that will go out for a goal kick shake in Maitland turning away from trouble sending it out wide off goes Afori he's stopped in his tracks by Domingos Perez free kick shake high towards Maitland headed away Billy Hayes tees it up for Hassan Sheikh who hangs it into that penalty area. Maitland is in there and he got his header in and it was saved at the near post by Mohamed Utoyu. It was a good header from the veteran. I see it to Gibbs. That outlet on the right-hand side is Jeremiah. 
and he's done very, very well. Gets inside Brindle. Jeremiah overhit it. And it was easy for Luke Ward. And there goes the half time whistle. That early goal from Shamari Barnwell remains the difference. In the blue, but he's getting this second half underway. It's still in the balance. Luke Ward's kick. That's an excellent ball. And look at Jeremiah again making strides forwards and that really should have been 2-0 but it's wide for Malaki Napa 22 year old he's made an impression in the Isthmian League this season for Molden and Tiptree this is Kennedy and uh, Safori shot wide and an injury means that Ian Maitland comes off Jaden Clark comes on it's a switch to the centre of the defence for Robert Magwood. John Clark has been given away. The step over for Napa. Down goes Luke Ward. Billy Hayes carrying the ball forward, still looking for that equaliser. Up towards Edwards. Jaden Clark. Pull back. And the goalkeeper nabs it. Shake. It's his first start in the Sunday Cup this season for Hassan Shake. Such are the injuries to the midfield. That's a nice ball. Chance here for a Afori. It's cleared. Edwards tries to curl it back in again. Takes a deflection up in the air. It's a header from Billy Hayes, but it'll go away for a throw into Betes. Kelly Riley, straight through the middle. Wise defending from Hessian. Just to fend off. It's a long ball to chase. Be careful. And the shot comes in. And it's a good save from Luke Ward. Not sure it was going in, but he couldn't take any chances. And Ian Kakao makes room for the shots or the cross, whatever you want to call it, but it was dangerous. Napa. Hanging it in, Domingo Perez. And the header is wide from Samuel Jeremiah. Goal kick taken quickly by Luke Ward. He's just waiting for it, just wouldn't come to him. Back now with Gibbs. Hessian takes the return from Cole. Samuel Jeremiah again, his pace is uh, problematic. Jeremiah, Malaki Napa gets past. It's Marker pulls it back and it's into the side netting. Shamari Barnwell with a shot. That's an excellent time challenge by Brindle. Come again though, Betis. Always busy, always looking for things. And the Inca Cole. Gibbs goes wide. Domingos Perez. Kranz. Let's see it. Come on, ready and willing. Little through ball from Napa towards the right hand side. Waiting for a delivery, but they're one nil up. They can bide their time. And it comes from Cole. It was a good ball in as well. And Barnwell did get the shot in, but it was easy for Luke Ward. Jaden Clark.
towards Afori who's down the left hand side at the moment hits the feet of Edwards needs some support isn't the greatest support from Edwards but he's got it back again here this is Jordan Edwards tees it up and the tackle came in just in the nick of time and suddenly there's a real breakaway opportunity for Betis slows it down there's Cole Keeping it simple. Krugshank finding Perez. Jeremiah in a central position. Cole. It's a good play. Chance for the cross. The cross did come in. Falling on it. Was Luke Ward straight down the middle? Okay, Albion still in with a chance. It's cutting inside was Jaden Clark. They've cleared their lines for now, Betis, but that's good play by Shake. Trying to play it over the top, headed away by Session. Back up in the air by Billy Hayes. Now the breakaway really is on. Cole denied by a strong interception from Robert Magwood. Pires. Napa. Wanted a bit too much time on the ball. Did Barnwell. Brindle that brings it away. He's lost it. It's curled into the penalty area. It's a good ball in as well from Napa. Let's run through all the way. Off goes Afori. And then the shot into the side netting from Pahemba. Wide from Magwood. To Hayes. Long ball over the top. It's another chance. For Highgate Albion, they're pushing and pushing and trying to get that equaliser. That was a four, it's a corner. In comes the corner, and goalkeeper Mohamed Batuya makes a good catch. Gibbs back to his goalkeeper. Batuya with the clearance away. It's controlled well by Aaron Scott. Wide it goes from Shake. Billy Hayes, they want the cross, the cross comes in, it's headed away. It's back again with Shake. A little slip. They have it back again. Riley. Tej Kennedy goes for goal. It's a blistering drive but his right boot, it took a deflection on its way through, it was only just over. Very unlucky. Taj Kennedy. This was the moment. Kennedy making room for the shot. He did take a deflection off the defender. And that could have been telling. Corner kick to Highgate Albion. In Clark. Sends it across into the penalty area. It's a header. Which is down and wide. It's a really good delivery in. And this is a free header. It's a target. Could well have been 1-1. Goal in the third minute remains a difference between these two sides. Heading towards the closing stages. Cole. Shake gets in the challenge. It's laid wide by Jaden Clark. On as a substitute. Long throw from Billy Hayes. Edwards. Anywhere will do. Time starting to run out now for Highgate Albion. As they go in search of that equaliser. Decimated by injuries. They're still in the hunt for the silverware. 
as the shot comes in it's hit the underside of the bar and in the header for Barnett the substitute makes it 2-0 and it's game over now Checker Barnett with the all important second after the initial shot from Teniola came back off the underside of the crossbar and it's celebrations all round for Batiste a second goal with four minutes to go and surely now the Essex Sunday Corinthian lead side have won the FA Sunday Cup heads it down just out of the reach of Luke Ward and Chaka Barnett is off celebrating two subs pivotal in the goal It's been a brave effort from Highgate Albion. It's been a wonderful season. Win, lose or draw in this final. Of course, there has to be a winner today. But, uh, that wide to Brindle by Kennedy. Deep ball into that penalty area, but the nod down straight at the goalkeeper. Otoyo sends it long. This is where they'll want to keep it. Brindle to shake. He's given it away. And that could have been costly. Good defending by Robert Magwood to deny the through ball, which would have been a one-on-one -on -one situation. Really good interception from Magwood. But still the danger hasn't been cleared. It's pulled back by Napa and Napa again. And the shot and the turn from Cole. It's another great block. Hits the post. Somehow that stays out. And that was nearly 3-0. Hayes. Why two. Excellent Smehemba. Gets to the byline. Can he get the cross in? No. Well he can but it's over hit. Come back out to Kennedy. Kennedy shows a clean pair of heels. The referee's not interested in giving a penalty there. Those decisions have not gone the way of Highgate Albion. Two penalty shouts. If there was contact, and it did look as if there was. It might just have been outside the challenge from Usman Adenji. Free kick anywhere will do. Over the top of the crossbar. And there goes the final whistle. Well, it's been a very brave effort from Highgate Albion. But ultimately, it was one step too far. They reached the final of the FA Sunday Cup. But the East Londoners, Batiste, have seen Highgate Albion off with an early goal and a late goal. Barnwell and Barnett, 2-0 to Batiste. Please give a warm round of applause to this year's FA Sunday Cup final runners-up, Highgate Albion.
Your winners, Blaze.